Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is gangstertimes underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box, Gangster Times. So as I stated in the previous video, the Iceman, Mark Fellows and other gang members are accused of conspiring to murder Paul Massey Associates, Abdul Khan in a shooting and Aaron Williams in a machete attack. And this is currently going on at Manchester Crown Court. In the second day of this trial, it was claimed that eyewitness saw a masked man with a sawn-off shotgun. And this eyewitness only recognised that it was a shotgun because they recognised it from playing Grand Theft Auto. In court, statements were read out by members of the public who witnessed the alleged attempted murder of Abdul Rahman Khan. As we know, Warrington man Mark Fellows, who is currently behind bars for the murder of Salford's Paul Massey, who was killed in 2015. And prosecutors early this week spoke of a gangland warfare that erupted in the city between the A-team and a rival faction referred to in court as the anti-A-team. They were told that there were plots to murder two men said to be associated with the A-team which jurors were told was led by a person who goes by the name of Stephen Britton. In court, a witness described seeing a man sat in the rear seat of a black BMW holding off a shotgun. He said he recognised the gun from playing Grand Theft Auto. Another witness in a statement said that she had heard the gunshots, then went to a kitchen, only to find a man at a window, gesturing to be let in. Following the alleged shooting, officers scrambled quickly to the scene and found three empty shotgun cartridges, as well as a grey sweatshirt. Abdul Rahman Khan attended hospital, and he told hospital staff he had sustained injuries from a drill when he was putting up a TV stand. But when an officer later attended to guard Khan, he admitted there was a shooting. When he was asked to confirm what he had said, he said their conversation was off the record. Aaron Parkin, Mark Fellows, Jamie Rothwell, Liam G are all accused of conspiring to murder and an alternative count of conspiracy to cause grievous bodily harm in an incident related to Abdul Rahman Khan. The four men are also accused of conspiring to murder and an alternative count of conspiracy to cause GBH with intent in relation to the incidents of Aaron Williams. So at this moment in time, Aaron Parkin has pleaded guilty to conspiracy to cause GBH with intent in both cases, but he denies the intention was to kill and the other four defendants have all pleaded not guilty. Prosecutors claim that those men in the dock are affiliated to the anti-A team. So prosecutor Jamie Hamilton QC read an eyewitness statement and he said on Wednesday 18th of February, I was at home with my partner. He was working from home and around midnight, I decided to go to bed and leave him downstairs. As I started to doze off, I heard four loud bangs that were about half a second apart and sounded like gunshots or what I thought gunshots sounded like when I've heard them on the telly before. From the bottom end of the terrace street, I looked out the bedroom window and I heard footsteps, which sounded more than one person was running past our house. A young looking man shouted, come on quick. I decided to get out of bed and look out the window and the first thing I saw was a vehicle that parked across the ginnel. Her partner said in a statement that he heard gunshots which sounded like fireworks and then he saw four men get into a vehicle all wearing face coverings or had hoods up covering their faces and heads. Another resident stated that he arrived home from work at 12am and said he heard two very loud bangs when he was about to go to bed. He said I could see a black BMW and I could see a male running away from the Bolton Road towards the black BMW. I could see he was holding something, he had it clutched to the front of his chest. I saw another male, he was sat in the back seat with the passenger door open. As the door was open, which kept the illuminated light on inside the vehicle, I could see he was wearing a balaclava and carrying a sawn off shotgun. I recognised it from playing Grand Theft Auto. Another witness on the opposite side of the road said he was watching through the glass panel in his front door to avoid raising suspicion when he witnessed a man getting out of a BMW with a machete which was about 12 inches long. So prosecutors said the Mercedes being driven by Khan belonged to Misha Kent. And Misha Kent's the daughter of John Kent who has associations with the A-team and the Mercedes was found abandoned a day later with three gunshot holes in it described as the size of a tennis ball in the driver's door as well as a smashed window. Investigating officers also found a black box attached by strong magnets to the underside of the rear bumper and this was later identified as a tracker. So after Khan had arrived at hospital he told emergency staff that he'd sustained an injury by way of a drill while he was using it to pull up a TV stand. However it later became apparent that it was a gunshot wound and the on-call doctor, Dr John Taylor, said there were two separate rooms to the forearm. They were about two centimetres in diameter, deep and ragged, and bleeding moderately. There were also metal fragments in the wound, several of which had been collected by the police at the time. That's the latest news with regards to the attempted murders of Abdul Khan and Aaron Williams in Manchester. 
Any further info, I'll keep you guys informed. It's your boy GZ. Keep it locked. Keep it real.